Talk about an offer that's hard to refuse. Our David Pogue was invited recently to join the highly select and very small group of people who've actually made it to the bottom of the Atlantic to view firsthand the eerie remains of the Titanic. It promised to be quite a journey, quite a story besides. Maybe you've heard the story of the Titanic. Iceberg, run ahead! I think there was a movie about it. Come on, give me in! For the most part, the only people who've ever seen the Titanic since that night have been scientists, until now. It's a very unusual business. It's its own category. It's a new type of travel. Stockton Rush is the CEO of OceanGate, a company that offers dives to the Titanic in a one-of-a-kind carbon fiber submersible for $250,000 per person. Who are the typical clientele for these missions? We have clients that are uh, Titanic enthusiasts, which we refer to as Titaniacs. We have people who have mortgaged their home to come and do the trip. And we have people who don't think twice about a trip of this, this cost. Hmm. Um, we had one gentleman uh, who had won the lottery. And this summer, Rush invited us to come along. We departed from St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada, the easternmost tip of North America, about 400 miles from the Titanic. That's the last we'll be seeing of land for eight days. Aboard a chartered oil rig servicing ship. During our two-day journey into the North Atlantic, we got to know our fellow adventurers. They included everyone from Indian industry mogul Shrenik Baldota. Yeah, they called me a wild monk. Uh, the, the wild monk? Yeah, because I look like a monk. I, I'm very calm, but uh, I have these extreme uh, interests to bank executive Renata Rojas. I'm trying to fulfill a dream. I've been wanting to go to Titanic and see it with my own eyes since before they found it. She's been saving up to see the Titanic for 30 years. Dreams don't have a price. Some people want a Ferrari. Some people buy a house. I want to go to Titanic. But the star of the show is the Titan, Stockton Rush's custom-built submersible. Five-inch thick carbon fiber capped on each end by a dome of titanium. If all went well, I myself would be spending about 12 hours sealed inside on a dive to the Titanic. Not gonna lie, I was a little nervous. An experimental submersible vessel that has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, or death. Where do I sign? Oh! -ho! Take your shoes off, that's customary. Okay. Wow. Inside, the sub has about as much room as a minivan. So this is not your grandfather's submersible. <laughs> we only have one button, that's it. It should be like an elevator. You know, it shouldn't take a lot of skill. The Titan is the only five-person sub in the world that can reach Titanic depths, 2.4 miles below the sea. It's also the only one with a toilet, sort of. And yet, I couldn't help noticing how many pieces of this sub seemed improvised. We can use these off-the-shelf components. I got these from uh, Camper World. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Come on! It seems like this submersible has some elements of MacGyver-y jerry rigness I mean, you're putting construction pipes as ballast. I don't know if I'd use that description of it, um, but there's certain things that you want to be uh, buttoned down. So the pressure vessel is not MacGyvered at all because that's where we work with Boeing and NASA and the University of Washington. Everything else can fail. Your thrusters can go, your lights can go, you're still gonna be safe. But when expedition manager Kyle Bingham studied the forecast for our Titanic dive, he concluded that the waves would be too big to launch the sub. We're looking at six feet and then it bumps up a little bit. Our Titanic adventure would have to wait. But Stockton Rush offered our CBS crew a consolation dive to the continental shelf 80 miles away. Apparently there's a lot of sheer cliffs underwater to see, shark breeding ground. They say it's really cool. The crew closes the hatch from the outside with 17 bolts. There's no other way out. Here's how the launch is supposed to go. The sub is attached to a huge floating platform. Motorboats drag it down the big orange ramp into the sea. We're in the water, we're floating. Woo! Then you're gonna come and prepare the platform 
for the next phase, which is the sinking. The platform submerges to around 30 feet, where the water is much calmer than on the surface. You're in the water, people. Divers detach the sub from the platform, and away you go, in theory. <laughs> Hold integrity. Holding. And what happened next? You won't be disappointed, as we'll show you a little later on Sunday morning. Our dive in the Ocean Gate submersible had made it down only 37 feet when this happened. So apparently those floats there came off the platform and that wasn't supposed to happen, so we're... So we're scrubbing? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the consensus up here. Copy that. I was crushed. My diving adventures were over. Every expedition has its challenges, all of them. I have not been in one expedition where things have to be adjusted, adapted, changed, or canceled at the end of the day. You're at the mercy of the weather. Renata Rojas speaks from painful experience. Over the years, she's been booked on three Titanic expeditions. All three were canceled. You just cry a lot and just keep the dream alive because it's something that I have to do. Our expedition had to wait out two more days of rough seas. Fortunately, there's a lot to do in the North Atlantic. I'm the king of the surface vessel! There's sea life, ship tours, atmospheric effects, and that, my friends, is called a fog bow. You can also hang out with scientists. Researchers like deep sea biologist Steve Ross and ocean archaeologist Rob Mather join every expedition. In effect, the passengers are funding their science. How scientific is this expedition? I don't do show science. So our job is to do real and, and important and valid work. While you're down there, will you look for this giant heart-shaped diamond on a chain? I think that's not there. <laughs> On our sixth day at sea, the weather cleared. The dive was a go. Titan sitting at 37.42 meters, reports on bottom. But that was the last of the good news. And I said, do you know where we are? 100 meters to the bow, then 470 to the bow. If you are lost, so are we. There's no GPS underwater. So the surface ship is supposed to guide the sub to the shipwreck by sending text messages. Turn 30 degrees right? Probably, yeah, 30 degrees. But on this dive, communications somehow broke down. The sub never found the wreck. We were lost. We were lost for two and a half hours. Rush says he'll offer those passengers a free do-over next year. And that's just one cost of doing this business. Are you making money on this operation? Uh, no. <laughs> so, not yet. People might say, hey, that's a lot of money, $250,000. Uh, but we went through over a million dollars of gas. It was our last day at sea. There was one last chance to reach the Titanic. And this time, good weather and good fortune were aligned. Slow down, slow down, it's just in front of us. Just we are in front of the anchor. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, here's <laughs> the bow, guys. Again, yeah. <laughs> You guys see it? Look at that, though, how it just kind of emerges out. Yeah. That is it. That is out of world. And there it was. The famous bow, the ship's wheel pedestal, and memorial plaques from old expeditions. The bollards that once secured the ship in port, and the davits that lowered the lifeboats. The hole where a huge smokestack once stood and the skylight over the radio room that sent out distress signals. Yeah! Now, Titanic tourism has its detractors, but these expeditions don't disturb the wreck or retrieve artifacts, and Stockton Rush says that they're valuable to history. At some point, there will be no Titanic. It will be eaten by the bacteria. It'll be an artificial reef that doesn't look like the Titanic. Renata Rojas would agree. After 30 years of trying, she finally got to see the most famous shipwreck in the world. Oh my gosh, yeah, I got the wreck. 
I'm worth the oh. 25 meters. I oh, love you. fantastic. I love you. Stockton Rush plans to return to the wreck this coming summer. Until then, the Titanic will once again be alone.